Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this animation of this logo made up of these different letters. It's pretty simple really, um, you're basically just working with a cube and then cutting out the cube with uh, these different letters. But I'm just going to walk you through all the steps from beginning to the end. Um, so this was done by the very talented guys over at Wolf Olins. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and recreate it. So. I first of all went to uh, to Google, look for the logo. Um, so if you just copy it, uh, what we're going to do is actually use Photo Peer. Uh, let me just create a new scene. Um, I'm just going to move everything over because I believe that won't fit on the screen for you guys. Otherwise, let me just check. So I've got like an ultra wide now, an ultra wide display. Okay. Anyway, um, so let's paste that logo in okay cool so what we're going to do here is convert this pixel information into curves data so that we can export it into blender as an svg then we can use that svg uh, curves data and convert it into polygons um, so we then have our logo so in photopia uh, we're going to go ahead and go to edit um nope not edit image and then we are going to vectorize the bitmap now here we're going to change the colors to two so that's basically black and white um in this case it's going to be well transparent and orange but you get the idea then we're going to change it from photo to cartoon actually no that's a lie we are going to keep it on photo uh looks like it already kept the settings no okay so merge colors we want to have turned off because otherwise all of these three different letters are going to be merged into one single um one, one single layer but we want them separate um and i think the rest of these should be fine let's just click okay and there we go so we've got our path number two which is the k s and g okay so that looks good um we're going to go ahead and go to file export as svg um and then save so then it's going to save into your downloads folder on your PC. So then inside of Blender, uh, let me just go ahead and move that to the right scale for you guys. Let me check that. That looks good. Okay, so inside of Blender, we're going to go to File, Import, and then Import the SVG. Um, then in your downloads, you want to get that SVG uh, logo. Um, so that imports it as these three different uh, paths. Um, let me just hide the default cube. We're actually going to use that, shockingly. Um, okay, so what we're going to do first is actually convert these curves files into polygons. Um, so we're going to select all three of them, object, convert, and then to mesh. Um, so now we've got the mesh icon here instead of the curves. So that just shows us that it is indeed a curve. Uh, sorry, a mesh. Um, so now what we're going to do is just quickly center the pivots and move it to the origin of the scene so set origin origin to geometry and then we're going to snap everything to the cursor so selection to cursor there we go okay so let's start off with our g let's just name them so we know what's going on g s and this is the k so what we'll do is use a what's it called solidify there we go we're going to extrude it um, and then we're going to just enable the cube. We're going to scale this up. And I want to make sure that the outside, so, so this logo is pretty much square. So we're going to scale it up to make sure that it almost touches the boundaries of the cube. Um, and then we're going to move it down. Now, in this case, we don't have to worry about it clipping through. Um, you'll see why later. So we're just going to do the same with these other two. So, okay, and I'm pressing shift while scaling, so I've got a bit more control over the scale. Um, then again, we're going to also add the solidify into this one, so offset one. Okay, so here you can see an issue. Um, we've got this, uh, well, the mesh is basically exploding. It's not very happy. So to fix that, we're just going to change the mode from simple to complex, and that didn't fix it either. Cool, not a problem. We're going to get that fixed anyway. Um, we're just going to turn off the solidify. We're going to go in here. And here we can see that the mesh um, has a load of individual vertices. So what I'm just going to try to do is go into the face mode, right click. And first of all, we're going to try and tr uh, convert the triangles into quads. 
and that should first of all also remove okay it doesn't um so that didn't remove these um these vertices that's fine so let's just triangulate everything then did that fix it um not quite okay so let's see if we can um, limited dissolve is that mm, that's probably too much isn't it okay no that does do okay that works fine so for the simple extrusion uh, or in this case solidification um, we can just do the limited dissolve to fix this issue so I guess that's fine with me so we'll carry on move that down um, we can actually set the offset to 0.5 so then it just scales it from the center Okay, that'll do. And then we'll do the S, which is, where is it? Where's my S? So again, solidify, offset, we'll just set to zero, thickness, and then scale the whole thing. So once that's done, we will use a boolean operation to cut these letters out of that uh, that cube so let's start off by going into the cube we're going to add the boolean modifier and then we're going to go and select our g now you can see it's cutting it out the wrong way we're going to use intersect and um okay so here you can see that we really want to make sure that the uh, the letters are within the cube um in this case it's it's you know, just just a you know, half a millimeter that's getting cut away there. Um, but if it's not done correctly, you can get um, incorrect results. So let me just triple check this. Let's turn off the Boolean. Then we're going to move this down. Just a smidge. There we go. Turn that on. Okay, that looks good. Then um, we're going to do the same with the K. So we're going to duplicate this. We're going to use the K. And you can already see that we're getting some issues here. And this is where the, well, the trick, I suppose, comes in. Um, you want to um, you want to rotate these different letters. So we'll do that in just a minute. I'll just duplicate this one more time. Grab the S. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rotate the K. I'm going to rotate the K by 90 degrees on the X and 90 degrees on the Y. And then the S, we're going to rotate, in my case, by, let's see, whoops, 90. Let's try that. Yeah, that should be all right. Either way, it should be fine. Um, let's just see what it looks like. Hmm, not too good. G. Ah, okay, so we've got issues with the offset. Um, let's turn off the booleans real quick so we can see where the center of the box is. So once we've got everything positioned, I should actually um, recenter the origins so that they don't get moved around again okay I think that's good so let's grab these three safety wires object set origin origin to 3d cursor which one's going on there oh, complex okay so now we've got those set up let's hide these three turn on the booleans again and now let's have a look so if we look from the top uh pressing number seven we've got our g if we look from the uh, from the front using number one we can see the k if we press three on the keyboard we can see our s so that is now ready so let's duplicate this cube and then we're going to hide the original cube. We're going to hide our logos. And then we're going to take this new cube. G, S, 
GSK, I believe. Yeah, GSK, that's what it's called. Um, and then we're going to create an empty. And I just like doing this to use the um, the empty as the as the controller to animate our logo. Uh, so we're just going to sh um, uh, shift drag our mesh into the empty. There we go. All right, so this is the front. We're going to create a camera. And then we're going to start uh, cleaning this up. So we're going to use the of graphic view. We're going to set this to a one by one aspect ratio, so 1080 by 1080. Uh, we're going to move this back. We're going to look through the camera. Then we're going to change the orthographic scale to, I don't know, 4.5 or something. Then we're going to create a backdrop. Um, I'm going to create an infinity curve, sort of. Um, I'm just going to extrude this upwards, scale it that way. Then we're going to add a bevel with a bunch of subdivisions, shade smooth. I'm going to move it pretty close to the back. And I think that should be good for now. Then we're going to animate this. Okay, so looking from the front, we want to start off with the G. So that would be, oh, of course, first of all, um, we want to apply all of these booleans. So apply, apply, apply. Because at the moment, we're only moving the box. So if we rotate uh, the box, as it were, the um, booleans are going to stay where they are. So it's going to be a bit weird and funky. So we have to apply the booleans. So that's all done. And now we can animate this just fine. So rotate that by, whoops, rotate x. 90, if we look from the front, boom, we have our G. So we're going to set a keyframe by pressing I, and then we're going to keep that for, I don't know, let's just say 15 frames. Um, or let's just set it to 10. That should be enough. 10 frames. Then we're going to go forward to, uh, to 20. Then we're going to change uh, the position to the, um, to the S, which is there. Okay, so if we rotate it then by, oh, good question, let's just have a look. 90, um, let me just open up a second window that we can always look through. Okay, um, and then we're going to minus 90, We'll go to minus 90 here. Oops, okay, so I accidentally created another keyframe in the timeline. So, you know what, we can just delete this one and move this one over to 20. Okay, uh, what we're also going to do is just um, select everything by pressing A in the timeline, pressing T, and we're going to change this to Bezier, and that's just going to make it smoother. Then uh, we're going to keep this frame for, let's say, 20 frames. So change, and then it's going to change again. So GSK is the last one we want. Where is our K? It is currently at the top. So if we rotate it this way, so 90, and then we have to rotate it. Um, oh, how do we do this? Boom like that, and like that. Okay, now hopefully there's not too many rotations going on. Okay, that looks good, lovely. Then we'll keep that for another 20 frames, and then we'll go back to the G. So, G, S, K, and then we're going to Maybe keep that for five frames longer. That last one. S K. Hmm. Or we'll keep the K longer. S K. Okay. And then we're going to stop it there at 95.
All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's finish this off with some lighting and shading. So we will add a shader um, to our logo. We're just gonna make it white, that should be fine. Mm, roughness, push that up. Then we're gonna add a shader to the backdrop. We're gonna make that orange. Let's just go ahead and enable the viewport rendering. Um, we're gonna add a light an area light. Um, so let's just move this over there, have it look over there. We're going to scale this up to 1000, maybe not that much, 600, there we go. And what I really like to see is the, um, the shadow of the logo on, on that backdrop. And the bigger we make the light, the softer the shadow is going to be. So we're going to have to try and find the perfect kind of uh, trade-off. Move it up. Maybe something like that. Then we'll add a, another light looking from the top. Make it a bit bigger. That looks all right. Um, just trying to get the shadow to be a bit more of a 45 degree diagonal. So, um, let's maybe add one more light. Let's add a point light. And we're just gonna scale that up. Move that to the corner. And there we go. So, if we go ahead and play that. All right guys, so I hope that you were able to take something away from this video. If you've got any questions, put them down below. Um, obviously this isn't you know, a one-to-one -one copy of what the guys over at Wolf Olins uh, did. Um, you can see if you, you know, you could actually uh, recreate the, um, the animation um, because they they have their letters on different sides of the of, of the cube, um, and and they did a fantastic job. Obviously, you want to spend some time with the lighting, and also with um, you know tweaking the curves of the animation. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how I think they they did it. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day. Take care, guys.